Nassau County jury just convicted rap star Nicki Minaj's brother of rape. Prosecutors say two years ago, Jelani Mirage repeatedly raped an 11-year-old girl at his Baldwin home. Mirage's attorney claims the child's mom made up the allegations. Now, the defense claimed it was a scheme to get Mirage's rock star sister, Nicki Minaj, to pay $25 million in hush money. Mirage now faces up to YouTube, life. YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now, this video right here is about Nicki Minaj's brother, Jelani M Minaj, and how he pretty much had got caught up in this rape allegation by uh, alleged abuse and touching and sodomizing his stepdaughter, who was then, I think she was 11 years old. I think the girl is like 13 now. But he was, he was accused of touching this girl while her mom was at work and basically, you know, forcing uh, sodomy on her and doing all kind of other things to her. But the killing thing that happened with the evidence so far was the fact that his uh, semen and people like, well, she could have put that there. Wish the mom could have put that there, true enough. But at the same time, from what the court sees uh, and what really convicted him was the semen that was found on a pair of the girl, I think, her, her pajamas or something, yeah, it was pajamas, some semen or something was found on it. And that pretty much was like the nail in the coffin, as they say. So I'm going to read a snippet from this story, and I will give my opinion as we go. Jel Jelani Mirage, not Minaj, I mean Jel Jelani Mirage, Nicki Minaj brother, found guilty in child rape trial. And this just came down yesterday. Jel Jelani Mirage, the brother of rapper Nicki Minaj, was found guilty of felony sexual assault on a child by a Long Island jury on Thursday, according to reports. The verdict came at the end of a month-long trial during which Mirage, 38, stood accused of repeatedly raping his 11-year-old stepdaughter between April and November of 2015 while her mom was at work. Despite attempts by the defense to prove that the cha charges had been brought in an attempt to extort millions from Mirage's wealthy sister, State Supreme Court Justice Robert McDonald ordered on Thursday that he be held without bail in Nassau County Jail in East Meadow, New York. According to the report, Mirage showed no emotion as the verdict was read. And when you see his face, man, it's like he just, you know, his, his soul was snatched out of him, which I'm not making no excuse for a convicted rapist anyway. But, you know, if he did it, you know, in a way I think he done it, you know, even though my opinion really don't matter. But a lot of people was, you know, came with all kinds of other uh, speculations and all this. But if he done it, you know, he deserves to be punished to the maximum effect. But if he didn't do it, you know, hopefully they can come out later on in the light. But for right now, in the eyes of the court and in the eyes of Justice Robert McDonald, he is guilty. So the high profile trial had garnered national attention with Minaj claiming that she would take the stand in her brother's defense. She never did. And the reason why I think that Nikki never took the stand, which was a smart thing, really, because, you know, you're going to get caught up in perjury if you sit on the stand and lie, number one. And number two, if you know when your brother is guilty of a heinous crime like this, far as sodomizing, raping an 11 year old girl, even though you, you still love him, that's your family, how can you actually defend somebody against that? And then, when the fact that the evidence came out about it, it, it being semen on her pajamas, I think that was like a pretty much, you know, open and shut case right there. That Nikki, no matter what she said, it wasn't going to do no good because once you have that kind of evidence right there, whether it was planted or not, it's pretty much lights out at that point right there. So she did a smart thing by keeping her mouth shut because you're going to ruin yourself also, just like Jelani has ruined himself. Now, the victim's 10-year-old brother, however, did testify, telling jurors that he had seen Mirage's private parts after walking into a basement bedroom in 2015. He said that Mirage later confronted him, slapping him across the face multiple times after the boy admitted to having, having seen anything. According to TMZ, Mirage will be sentenced on December the 14th and currently faces 25 years to life in prison. And the way they, the way these judges hand, handing out this time now, it's like alphabets now. You're not going to be doing numbers, you're doing alphabets. You feel what I'm saying? You know, they just gave Meek Mill two to four years just for a stupid old, stupid ass uh, probation technical violation. So if they're giving people two to two, two to four years for technical violation, imagine what they're going to do with somebody for rape. You know, and also... Uh, even though the story don't pertain to this, it don't go to this, but it coincides. But we have uh, 
the rapper Mystical, who's down in Louisiana in Caddo Parish. Uh, I think he's in a jail or the detention center there, but that's Shreveport, Louisiana, for anybody want to know. And he's currently facing an alleged rape charges, you know, after he done already did like eight, nine years in the state penitentiary, you know. So Mystical is also facing rape charges also. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty tough thing, but, you know, you got to be careful these situations you put yourself in. Just like with Mystical, when he was... Uh, when he got got out, what he should have done, excuse me, what he what he should have done is got away from everybody and just focus on the music, leave the streets alone, leave these leave these thoughts alone, because that would get you caught up right there. Not saying that you know that Jelani, ex-wife, which was the girl mom, is lying on him, but I'm talking about just in general. If you are entertaining and you going around different cities, it's gonna be women throwing themselves on you in, in hell. A lot of people don't even have to be entertainers. For women to throw themselves on you you got everybody throwing themselves on you from young girls and it's the truth from young girls to old women you know old ass grannies and stuff you got people just just ready to throw the draws at you but you got to have enough uh self-control and dignity and morality in the spirit of discernment to know this is not what i want this is not what's good for me so i need to leave that alone right there and because you do not have to be a rapper. You do not have to be somebody that's kin to somebody famous. You can just be somebody who's on YouTube. You could be somebody who just have a platform or whatever. And people navigate and they flock to that. You know, people want to be a part of something. So you, you have all kinds of different people you intermingle with. So you have to be careful, you know, because people will set you up. Not saying that Jelani was set up. You know, only thing I'm just reporting on is what I hear. Because I don't want nobody thinking that I'm biased. But I cannot stand a rapist. So let's get that right. So if he did do it, you know. He needs to be punished, but at this point right here, the only way, you know, he will have a chance at that if he has an appeal, which the lawyer is rightfully going to do, you know, especially with a case like this. Now, according to the site, Nassau County DA Madeline Singers says she hopes that today's verdict will help the family in the healing process. And it just goes on to say a lot of more things, but, you know, let this be a lesson to everyone. You know, when you're thinking that everything is good in life and you pretty much got everything made because you got somebody rich in your family who has a lot of money you still have to be careful of the circumstance and the consequences of your actions and just like the 10 year old boy said that he seen uh, Jelani Private's part and everything and then Jelani came downstairs or something in the basement and slapped him up and that's also right that was damaging because was you also trying to mess with the boy also just like you was to look allegedly the little girl, you know, so I don't know. Let me know what you all think about this situation right here because this is a lesson for everyone. You know, if if you have this type of spirit in you that you want to mess with children, number one, you need to seek God. And number two, you need to seek some kind of help and counseling and, and leave that shit alone because you're going to end up messing with somebody's child. And if the courts don't get you, the parents going to kill you. You feel what I'm saying? Because I know I would take it there with my own child, you know, if my daughter somebody came and told me someone i really love and would give my life for at the drop of a dime told me that some guy molested her or raped her you know and a lot of you guys would do the same thing but anyway let me know what you all think about this situation right here and you know it's a very sad uh sad tragic situation because uh jelani nikki mom was there and the way she looked you know and don't nobody want to see their child go having to do 25 to life but at the same time don't no woman or man want to see their child their, their their daughter young daughter no matter how old she is but more worse than when she's young, being raped, you know. So I, I feel both of them pain, you know, because the mom is innocent. You know, Nikki's innocent. Nikki didn't have nothing to do with this. But still, though, Jelani's choices and his actions brought on about this whole chain of events that happened, you know. And, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I wish I wish his mom the best because she's really going to suffer because I know that woman do not want to see her son in prison, but neither more than, than the girl mom want to see her daughter being touched and raped and sodomized so let me know what you all think about this crazy crazy situation right here and how do you all feel about this also is do you feel in your heart rightfully that he's guilty or do you feel that he's not guilty even though our opinions don't matter but you'll be amazed how uh how public opinion can sway uh officials decisions on the outcome of these trials let us raise enough hell about anything and watch won't there be some kind of change but anyway let me know what you all think about this situation right here if you like the video make sure you hit that like button if you like subscribe to next time y'all stay blessed i'm out